I found it to be hilarious. We was on After Hours last night, and it was the first time that I had seen it, and so I wanted to discuss it with Slimmy and Quentin. Shout out to the team. Shout out to Q. Q doing awesome things on Monday night. Slimmy and uh, me and Mika and Quentin, we all rocking out, and so the team is eating. The team is really winning. The team is doing what the team do, all right? But I seen this yesterday, and I seen it was going viral along with me, and shout out to Art of Dialogue. He's been doing some phenomenal interviews. And I said, listen, Judge Joe Brown is one of them old school people. You know, the people that already got their money and had already made their mark, just like our grandfathers and our grandmothers once they get past a certain age. Once you get past 70, 68, 70, 69, 70, they don't care nothing about you. They ain't trying to be nice. They ain't trying to be PC. If you look like you for the streets, they're going to say, oh, baby, what you going out there? You, you going to get pregnant tonight? That's Judge Joe Brown. And so I was not surprised, but I was absolutely entertained. And this is one of the things that he had to say. Check it out. She's a piece of sh**. I was in California. She lacked professional competence and she worked on it by hiking up her hemline when she needed influence rather than researching. I was out in California for 15 years doing my show when she was at her peak and she had a reputation amongst the trial lawyers of being lazy. She just hike her skirt up and try to flirt and uh, she wasn't that good in the courtroom if not pretty bad in the courtroom. Say it ain't so, Judge. No, nah, Judge. <laughs> I said, Judge, I might have to go ahead and get Judge on the show and try to get his perspective because I got some more uh, questions for him. And I said, Judge Joe, say it ain't so. You mean to tell me that she used what she got to get what she want just like the Players Club? No, nah, Joe. No, Joe, I'm not going for it. Are you telling me, Judge, that based off of your experience, now I didn't say it, I didn't say it, Judge said it. Judge said, listen, she got what she got because it wasn't based off of her merits, it wasn't based off of the fact that she was good at what she did. It said she just hiked up her hemline when it was time to talk to the other people, when it was time to get some things done. Is it possible, is it possible Think about it. Take it into consideration. Is it possible that along with weak talking points, Kamala Harris, and I say it's possible, I say that it's not that far-fetched. Why? Because we weak. We're weak. People are weak. For the right price, you can get what you want. And women have this unfair advantage. I'm just going to be real. Women have an unfair advantage when it comes to being able to level up and get what they want. See, I got to work my butt off. I just got to have good, solid talking points. I got to be entertaining. I got to put the medicine inside of the candy. I'm not going to get no leg up. For the most, for 98% of y'all, especially if you're a man, if you're a man, forget it. You could forget it. Unless you that model dude that was in jail that automatically got a leg up as soon as he got out of jail because all of these hoes wanted to write and be pen pals with him. Unless you Chris Brown and you can water wave and you can do what you want to do. Because even Soldier Boy can't get away with the same thing as Chris Brown. Bow Wow can't get away with the same thing as Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? So unless you in the top 0.01% of people that have all of the characteristics and you can get away with some things and you can dance... You got to work your ass off. You right here, down here with the rest of us. But the women, they different. They different. I ain't talking about the ones that's putting it out there for $40. I know inflation is high, so we got to go out here and we got to shake what we got to get what we want. I ain't talking about the ones that's in the bind. She in the bind, Nate. <laughs> but the ones that actually know and they can leverage what they got and they got a pretty face and at some point there was a little bit Younger, it's not that far-fetched. It's not that far-fetched. It's not that far-fetched to know that favoritism aligns with a hemline. But my question then becomes, is it possible for Kamala, Cam Cam, is Cam Cam one of the culprits that ultimately 
leverage what she got like Diamond from Players Club to get what she want. Let's go back to Judge Joe Brown and see what he has to say. About five or six years ago, when did they start ramping up to do this? Uh, 2019. Okay, I was saying Biden has been a failure his whole adult career, a second-rate, third-string player. He's in the game, so he wants to make a name for himself. I considered him for years poor trailer park, urban trailer park trash, and he's a crook. He's a third stringer. Now, what I said he was going to do is he probably wants to claim fame for being the first person to see to it that a woman got to be president. And what I predicted, I'm slightly wrong on it, was that he was going to get in, try to get elected, and if he got one term, try to get elected for a second one. And then halfway through his term, when he had served two years to retire or resign in her favor. So under the 22nd Amendment, what happens is she can serve for the final two years for somebody and then be elected twice more. So that woman would be able to serve 10 years, second only to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who got elected to four terms before they put the amendment in place so you could. Now, that said, I think, and my major at UCLA was political science, my analysis was is they picked the weakest somebody they could as a figurehead, somebody who had some apparent minority status which she does not. And what goes on is that you get her, everybody that is everybody would be afraid to go against her because of what she can pass herself off as. And then you get somebody that's easy to control because she's lazy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So judge, hold on judge. Let's recap here. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back because we really need to understand what they're saying. So what Judge is saying is, is that it's a possibility because we can't substantiate it. All we can do is take his word for it. I believe him. You're going to have to make an informed decision of whether or not you believe the judge. Judge has never said anything that led me to believe that he was capping out in these streets. But what Judge is basically saying is that the play is exactly how we predicted it. Over a year ago, we talked about it. And so she could not debate herself out of a wet paper bag. I don't know if y'all have ever went back and y'all actually looked at her debates performances and seen what was happening, but she was absolutely getting trashed. And I say thrashed in those debates. In 2019, 18, 19, when she was in the primary, she didn't have a leg to stand on. Nobody was rocking with her. Nobody was voting for Kamala Harris. Y'all was not checking for Kamala. Y'all didn't even like Cam Cam. Remember? Remember when y'all said that y'all didn't like Kamala Harris? Oh, but you on code now. And all they did was play in your face and they gave you what you thought you picked for yourself. And how did they do it? They finessed you. She called Biden and she referred to him as practically racist for the same thing that she was doing, but he was doing 50 years earlier. And so what happened was she became his running mate. He wanted to become president of the United States of America. They 100% ruined the economy. Inflation is crazy. Y'all can't buy a home no more. After she got done locking up a whole bunch of black men for the thing that she lied about and said that she did as far as smoking marijuana, after she allegedly withheld evidence in order to be able to free the very ones that y'all said free, because y'all want justice reform and y'all said defund the police while at the same time she was playing in your face. Then she became a running mate because they knew that it would get the black woman because after Biden said, if you're not voting for me, you're not black, all she had to have was a hue. Didn't matter what she claimed. Didn't matter that she was more or less aligned with being Indian and Jamaican and that she's allegedly only 12 and a half percent. Where her daddy at? Where her daddy at? Anybody talk to her Jamaican father? Where he at? They, I heard that this dude was some form of an extreme Marxist out here in these streets. 
They say you're the product of your father. Thank you, Cyrus. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. I'm going to read all super chats at the end of the show. They say that you are a product of you, your daddy's son. Remember when your mama used to get mad at you? Shout out to Leland. I'm going to read that, read that shortly. Remember when your mama used to get mad at you when she got mad at her daddy? And she used to slap you upside your head? You look just like your daddy. Remember that? Where the daddy at? I thought that we had to qualify people based off of everything. Y'all went through Obama. I'll give y'all that. Y'all tried to go through Obama's background with a fine tooth comb. You said that he not even a citizen. I heard people over there trying to act like Michelle Obama ain't even really a, a woman. Now, I don't believe that, but I see people making that case. We don't even know who her daddy is, who your daddy is. Who your daddy? Who your daddy? We don't know nothing about this woman. All we know is that she get on stage and she show her teeth. <laughs> Judge says that she was raising up her hemline because she was lazy in the courtroom and she wasn't very good at what she did. She had to maintain that record and so she wasn't letting your cousin Pookie and Ray Ray out of jail. Ray Ray and he, Ray Ray ain't even do nothing. Pookie did it, but Ray Ray didn't. And Pookie got an excessive sentence and Ray Ray he didn't even do nothing. And y'all got right on cold. And they played you. She wasn't going to be able to actually win on her own merit in the primary. She has no record to stand on. The only thing she ever did was advocate for the alphabet community. She failed at the border as the borders are. And then they had him run a second term so that ultimately she could be the one to take over. And she just... Ran right into it. They had to fight. All the Republicans, they had debates. We went through Vivek Ramaswamy. We went through Ron DeSantis. We vetted all of these people with a fine-tooth comb. Trump literally was out here campaigning and advertising and working and grinding while he was being persecuted at the same time, which I call election fraud. Is voter election, uh, trying to influence an election, they tried to get on Russia and all of them for trying to influence a, an election. What do you think all of these trumped up charges, these fake charges was? That's trying to make, they literally, I, I reviewed it on the Millionaire Morning Show. Several different states tried to remove him from the ballot altogether. They tried to remove your choice to even pick who you wanted to vote for. And now they gave you her. They gave you, they played you right in your face. They gave you Cam Cam and they, and they said that they're going to love us for it. They're going to love us for it. The same way that they removed the woman from the home and then made them interdependent on the federal government. They said, and they're going to love us for, for dependent, for handpicking what you was, was best for you, not letting you pick for yourself and, and letting you make an educated decision. They're going to love you for it. The same way that they didn't hijack the civil rights movement and then made it about the feminist movement and made these people double minorities. The white woman then became a minority because she's a woman. The black woman became a double minority. And so they gave y'all handouts in order to try to make y'all feel good about the decision that wasn't in your best interest. They gave it to you. They handpicked your leaders for you. You didn't pick them. They used entertainers to do it. They used Meg Thee Stallion. They used Quavo. They used Diddy. Remember when Diddy got y'all to go out there and vote? And now y'all don't like Diddy no more, so they can't use Diddy. They had to go with Quavo. They handpicked your leaders for you. They used them to lock you up, made money off of them as far as the prison industrial complex, and then they leveraged it in order to try to get them back in office. And it's working. 